Hey, this is John from the Emma Design Team, and I'm going to lead you through a five-part series which will have you build a template for the Emma Template Builder. This mini-tutorial will include asset preparation, building the table framework for our template, assembling and styling the content of the template, optimizing for mobile, and finally installing and testing the template and Template Builder. A material folder is provided if you want to follow along. First, let's open the design file, in this case a Photoshop document. Note that our final design width is going to be 640 pixels wide, so I've built this artwork out double that size at 1280 pixels. When we get to installing these images in the HTML document, we'll scale them down by 50% for nice, crisp retina images. This simple template has three sections, header, navigation, and content container. The content container is made up of a hero image, the drag and drop region, and a three column modal. Though the hero image and modal could be included in the drag and drop region, I'm going to hard code them for illustration. If you've not used the slice tool before, it's pretty easy. Just select the tool in Photoshop and simply drag around the element you need to extract. Don't be afraid to zoom in and be sure to grab exactly the pixels that you need. Images with included margins can prove to create headaches later. Once we have our image element sliced, let's hide the background and save the slices for web. The wooden texture in the header is included in the materials folder, as it is just a smart object in our Photoshop document. After saving for web, we can restore the document to an appropriate save state and consider our work in Photoshop done. Next, we'll build the table structure our design will live in. 